Hey everybody, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Well into summer now. Crops are looking pretty good last I checked. Yeah, man. Got a nice little setup going on here now. Gotta do some watering though to start the day. Also gotta say hi to a buddy. Did you my buddy too? Yo, hello, you sweet boy. Good morning. He loves his farm. That'd be such a cool life for a dog, man. Just got free reign of this whole area. Maybe feel pretty secure in it. You know? I'm not like he's getting anywhere. Like, in a proper little valley here. Maybe time to start a new save file. Yeah, he wouldn't be alone. 1.6 is reinvigorated it, certainly. It gave me the perfect excuse to get back and give it another try. I'm very glad I did. I know when I am uh, transferring the VODs over from Twitch to YouTube and just, just seeing the game in that form gives me the itch to play more. That's that's when I know when I, I'm, I'm working with something real, real good, real special. Just this is so weirdly captivating for me, man. This might be my favorite part of the game right now, is just managing the little farm. Watering specifically. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's making my brain happy. Let's see what we can sell these suckers for. And also check the mailbox in a second. Some hot peppers, a little more wheat, a little more hay. Mixed flower seeds. Oh, fun. Let's see what comes from that. Gonna water my ancient seed, too. This thing's taking a while. I gotta imagine that's gonna be a pretty damn good crop, whatever the hell this produces, eventually. Dear Mr. Bear. Oh, right, yeah, the JoJo employee found me incapacitated. Wasn't this on the floor of my house, though? I remember where it was last time. It cost me 300 gold, though. That sucks. I gotta be a little more careful getting back next time, I guess. Oh, we gotta buy seeds, too. That's right, I gotta go to Pierre's. Gotta get some more summer seeds, man. We gotta get this, get this farm going properly. Let's make a bunch more fertilizers before I do that. Or as much as I can, anyway. Let's actually go get some sap. No, we have some sap still, right? We got a little bit, not a, not a ton. <laughs> bang, 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 open up, we're here to rescue you! You're in danger! All right, here we go then. sad, but I'm not really interested in just getting the crops going. Check in on the notice board, too, see if there's anything we can knock out. Yeah, hell yeah, Wumpus. Watering was my least favorite, because I'd always mess up lining up with the crops properly. Ah, oh, yeah. But when you get it just right, mm, chef's kiss. Forgetting that's a thing. Might be able to afford it pretty soon, actually. Massive DD2 update on experimental. Ooh, really? That's exciting. All right. We're gonna. <laughs> That'll be fun. We'll have DD1 and DD2 on the docket for the next couple weeks. I'm probably gonna have to check that out. I don't think I got any melons, did I? Let's get 15 melon seeds. I'm gonna get some blueberries. Yeah, I think I passed these because they were too pricey last time. Got a bunch of the cheap guys. Poppies for bright red flowers, a vibrant tropical flower. Could get some more corn too. Ooh, large sunflower, fun. I'm gonna get 12 corn seeds. That's a nice haul right there. That feels good. Sweet. Might as well throw out some Spelunky 1 and 2 if that's the case. Why not? Yeah. Really give the people what they want. For those of you that are the people that want this, by the way, thank you. 
You're my favorite members of the pile. The ones who just want to vibe with me. I appreciate you. Don't tell the other members. You're my favorite. That'll do. Yeah, I'll probably go ahead and chop this section up, right? Is this my hoe or is this my axe? Where'd my hoe go? Wants to put it away. There it is. And then... Go like this. in. That is a lot of good stuff right there. And then corn. Corn's going over here, I decided. Just now. Just now decided this is the corn spot. And then boom, 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 oop. Come on, come on, right there. And then go like this. Sweet. Let's get to watering. That'll be satisfying. Up and down. Oops. Oh, I gotta remember I can do my fun little bounce while I'm charging, too. That's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Right, right. Wait, what are you doing? This way. There you go. It, nailed it, nailed it. So close. I love the color change there too, it's very satisfying. All done. Alright, only took half the damn day. <laughs> That's a nice little set of crops there, though, man. That feels good. We're cooking now. Next, probably whip up some more uh, snack bars. I don't know how many of those we really need, though. I suppose I need the sap more than anything right now, actually. Yeah, I should probably just try to cut down a bunch more uh, pine trees so I can get some sap for the fertilizer. Good to get the snacks, too, I guess. Man, there's still so many more trees to chop down over here. I'm still not even sure what this thing is. Now in ruins, whatever it once was. Every now and then I'll just get in the mood to just start making progress on this. Oh, that's fun. Just chop moss out of there. I feel like I'm approaching this perfectly, too. At least as, as far as it is uh, satisfying to me. Just every now and then we uh, take a big old chunk. Little by little, by little bit. Favorite part of the patch so far? I can't really speak to it, honestly, Will, because this is my first proper playthrough, so it's all new to me. What is this? Oh, okay. All right, I think I've decided I want to go from, like, bottom of the pond up. We can clear all that out, and then that can be our properly cultivated farmland for the next little while. I hope we got enough sap to make the fertilizer for it now, though. I'm beginning to realize that's a much more valuable resource than I had initially thought. I was just kind of dumping our sap earlier on. Also, disregard that thing I said about below the pond, apparently. Yeah, I'll just wait till I find out, horse. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Oh, geez, I'm already exhausted, huh? Sheesh. Time for cave carrots. Do I have the stuff to make a couple of snack bars right now? I do. Well, one anyway. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. 
You can just build sap collectors so I can tree, chop down trees later on. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, we'll probably want to do that. Make a charcoal kiln as well if I want. Place on a maple oak or pine tree and wait for the reservoir to fill with products. Cool. I want to do that. There you go. Neat. Here, let's clear the way around this so that I remember that that's what that is. Give it its own little section over here. Yeah, I figured that doesn't give sap, but I'm curious to see what it does do. Didn't realize that was even an option yet. All right. What is this? Why am I not picking up this piece of wood? Oh, there we go. That's weird. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Still need a lot more energy, though. Hold on. Can I say one very small thing that was added in 1.6 that will improve your game ten times? It's, I, I struggle to say no to that. Yeah. Hit me, I guess. sell some wood, too. I feel like we got a bunch of that now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can put hats on your dog. Right! That has been brought up. That's an excellent point. But how? But how? Is there, like, a specific shop for that? That does seem critically important. You may you might have undersold that. Go to the hat mouse. That has been suggested. Okay, apparently we need to go to the hat mouse. We'll make that top priority in the morning. For sure. We got a lot of work done today, huh? This feels good. All right, cool. Let's sell some stuff. Let's see if maybe any of these seeds are good for this season. I suppose it would say if it doesn't grow this year, right? Or this season, rather. We'll find out. We've evolved from can you pet the dog can, to put it, can you put a hat on the dog? <laughs> oh, sweepy buddy. It's nighttime. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm going to sell half of my wood. Put the rest in here. I'll go with like a hundred, maybe. Well, I don't know, actually. I don't think it's really worth it. Don't sell for that much anyway. Um, Save these things. There we go. Looking good. Might want to do some mining tomorrow. After we go to the hat mouse, obviously. Hey, Nexus, welcome. Okay. Yeah, Wilder is kind of aimless here, honestly. I think I might just call it an early night. There's that urge to min max that I, I, I think I need to fight more and more the more that I play this game. I need to realize it. Checking in at 8.30 is a blessing, not a curse. Not a lot of money out of the peppers, huh? It's a bit of a bummer. That would be a bigger payday. Oh, well. Got a lot more we're growing now. I water all my crops and then sleep at 1.30. <laughs> the ideal farming life. Love it. And then we get to hear the summer music again. Greetings, Bear. It's our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congrats. We're impressed with your quick progress. Cool. That immediately makes me self-conscious. I'm not ready for a magazine shoot. You gotta be at least twice this big. I do like this little tree here. It popped up all of a sudden. 
You done yet? No? Alright. This one probably takes a few days. Hi, Chubbs. Oh, you happy, bud? You need some water. There you go. I'm gonna get a hat for you today, buddy. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I immediately forgot the thing that I said about these before. Top to bottom triple. There we go. I think these guys are almost done. And we got some hop star harvest. Start, you just can't stop. So you run out of water anyway. Keep <laughs> trying to charge it and then just stopping right before the end of it. Yeah, it's growing in it? and it's getting there. It's taking a while, a while to do so, but that can only be good, right? Until it produces like a single pea that sells for less than one gold. Just post the I can't twitch emote over and over again. You fool. You absolute sap. You thought it would be good. Sap. I see what you did there, Barry. On accident, but I'll still give it to you. Doo -doo -doo. Right. Watering complete. Good to go. Put the tools away again. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need. Well, I might need that. And don't need that. You have a tip about how the watering can can charge. Yeah, let me hear it. Sweet. Do need some food though, so hold on a sec. Let's. Whip up some snack bars real fast, hopefully. I need to get some acorns, apparently. Yeah, I did just realize that uh, not too long ago. There's thank you for the reminder, though. Oh, I just got rid of my axe. I'm a dummy. Which one gives the acorns again, chat? Which one? They, they look very similar, but it's the maple, right? Which is... Which one? Very similar. So that's the pine. That's going to give you a pine cone. Or no, the maple gives you the maple seed, right? Of course, so it's the oak. And that's the oak, I think? Let's find out. It might have been, but just didn't give you one. Maple looks more shaggy. Oak is smooth. Okay. Still kind of tough to tell. Because that's the pine, so it's one of these two, right? Is this the oak? Yes. Okay, cool. Noted. Chop a couple of those bo these boys down and hopefully get a couple of field snacks to go. Get out of my damn way. Oh, thank you, Pawn. I thought I'd switched it. Appreciate it. Oak's all green. Got it. Yeah, that'll be a nice way to remember. Man, this place is dense. Oh, butterflies. Hello. I bet you can catch them. I bet you can get a net or something. two. Give me three, I'll be good to go. There's one more. One more here, come on. Oh, that's not it. Hold on. Oh, 
please. There you are. Sweet. Okay. It's a little late in the day, but I feel like we still got enough time to go to the mines here. Let's do it. Oh, four. Good. Bear, what are your thoughts on sweet potatoes? Four. Firmly four sweet potatoes. I prefer normal potatoes, probably. I'm a big fan of potatoes, dude. I was just saying this on Jackbox the other day. Or yesterday, rather. Love taters. Give me taters in any form, really. Hat Mouse, right? Yeah, thank you. I forgot. Where's Hat Mouse? Yeah, that's top priority. So probably have enough gold for it, I assume. Hat Mouse is south. Okay. Let's do it. Hat Mouse in his hat house. That checks out. Hey, Vince. Hi there, mister. Do, do you want something? That's honestly a fair response. Nope, just saying hi. I understand your reticence, though. Past the wizard. Oh, boy. Okay. I don't think I've even been down here yet, which explains why I haven't seen the hat mouse. I have not been wandering around this part at all. I now want to play Darkest Valley, where you're the guy making the bandages and upgrading all the buildings while the Hamlet folk keep disappearing up to the old mansion and coming back crazy and beat up for some reason. The crossover we didn't realize we needed. Hi, Hat Mouse! Hi, a poke! Did you bring coins? Good. Me sell hats. You sure do. We have exactly what we need for it. How convenient. We're gonna give Chubbs a good old cap. A floppy old topper with a creased bill. Looks like it's been through a lot. It's about to be through a lot more. In the best possible way. Let's go. Hat acquired. You know what? I feel like doing some fishing too. Let's do it while we're here. Uh, like mines, that's beautiful sticks and name. He is a good old boy. He deserves a good old hat. Or good old cap, rather. Ah, the perfect music fade out as we enter the serenity of the fishing. What a game, man. What, what a friggin' experience. I did have to laugh at myself. Somebody posted a comment on the uh, the first Stardew Valley upload saying something like, I've never heard the stamina system in this game described as extremely discouraging, which, yeah, that's that maybe a bit of an overstatement on my part. When I was uh, discussing how I felt when I was first playing this game. Yeah, that's how you do it, buddy. Obviously, I've since realized it's not nearly as much of a handicap as I initially suspected. I can't even remember, honestly, the last time I really considered it a big issue now. Nice. Yeah, it gets much better uh, very quickly, so... Yeah, to the point where now, like I said, it's not even really an issue. We good. We're smiling, by the way. We got our smiley bob out in the water. That means the smiley faces in chat. Have a good time. Perfect. Is one hand of gaming all day today, man. DD wanted to start you. It's big chilling. Although it does occasionally mean a missed fish. This is perfect Sunday evening activity. Not to mention we did just spend all of our money so I could use the economy boost here. 
In terms of relaxing, gamepad gaming is greater than one-handed gaming. I concur, yeah. In fact, I am kind of tempted to get back to the controller for this one. I did start out that way, assuming I was going to try to be as relaxed as humanly possible about it. Cool! 24 different fish. Got the old Mariner achievement. Nice. I like that it's got its own little in-game pop-ups for the achievements, too. That's fun. Double the dopamine. What does the purple star mean next to the fish? Does that just mean it's like the biggest one you've caught, or is it like a specialty beyond the gold star? Best quality. Nice. Getting a bunch of those. Does that have something to do with the maximum cast, or does that not affect your fish quality? I think somebody said that only affects the amount of experience you get, right? Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this is what happens when I go for that. That's what happens. Okay, so we get this guy nearly done. Or just hope he lands on the chest. Yeah, that works. There we go. That's the play. Yeah, there you go. That'll work. I feel like those have got to be worth it considering we got a god dang diamond out of one last time. So, of course, you can just get coal, too, but... i got to go for it, at least. You can only get purple from getting a perfect with the fish bar. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess Cole's pretty good too, isn't it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a fighter. Oh, no. Dude, if I get this one, I'll be thrilled. I can never get these guys. No way! Let's go! 56-inch pike! What the hell? That thing's huge! Let's go! Big fish! We eating good, yeah. Still got plenty of inventory space. I feel like I could hang out for a few hours here. It's nearly five feet long, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Another river jelly, too. Yo, big payday. We eating tonight, y'all. Delicious river jelly. Pike is mainly bones, actually. Oh, well, that's a bummer. <laughs> a lot of bones. Max. All right. We'll probably chow down our last snack bar here so we can fish into the night. And then we'll go put our good old cap on our good old boy and hit the hay. That bird seems unique. New chub. Nice. I feel like I haven't seen that kind of silhouette before. How slow moving he was, too. That was interesting. I heard a while ago that if you fish in the darker spots, you can get different fish. I believe it. That does sound a little bit like a mew under the truck kind of tip, though. Or just sounds right, but... And everyone believes it, but it's not actually true. <laughs> oh, there are special spots sometimes. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Oops. Hang on, hang on. Come back. Does this still fix this? Or is it too late now that I've overexerted? Oh, man. That stinks. Okay. So that means I'll have half stamina tomorrow, right? But I guess that's fine, considering I'll just eat something and then I'll restore it, I, I guess. Yeah, it's not a big deal. All right, this will probably be the last cast, though. If you go to the beach and press B 51 times, you'll unlock Luigi. Wahoo! 
Uh oh, another fighter. Okay, here we go. Got him. Got him. An even bigger pike. We got a dang bag full of fish. Let's do it. Head home. Can I go there this way? No. Okay. Good day. Today I saw a video titled All Michael Jackson Grunts in the Toilet. And it was MJ's ums and ahs and hee hees and violent shitting sounds. I would laugh very hard at that, yeah. I, I want to feel like I'm above it, but if I were to watch that, I would be I would be chuckling. I have zero doubt in my mind. If not, like, straight up guffawing. That would, that would get me. I'm laughing thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to believe you're better than that, but you're not. None of us are. I mean, what's to be above, right? It's more fun below that. How would you rank a guffaw on types of laughter? As far as, like, are we talking, like, we got to be talking just, like, sheer power, or, like, what's the metric here? It's it's how hard it makes you laugh. It's how funny it is, I mean, obviously. But, like, the best laugh is a guffaw, in my opinion. If if just for the name of it, but when you hear when you hear the word guffaw, what kind of laugh do you think of? Because I'm thinking of something like ah ha ha, like a it's like a revelatory kind of humor, like oh my god, that is very funny. Fully forgot to sell my fish last night. That's all right though. Let's do it today. Do, 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 do. A bone shaking, soul throttling chortle. Chortle is a close second as far as just like names for laughter. That's up there. Oh, Chubbs! Guess what, buddy? Who wants a hat? You want a hat? Yeah, you do! Oh, shit. No, come over here, buddy. Don't hide in the corner. He doesn't like it. He's hiding in the corner in shame. He doesn't like his hat. Okay, no, he's gotten used to it. He's happy now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, he's a happy wig. He's hyping up the reveal. Yeah, he's 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 gonna Okay, let me, let me give him his moment, right? Introducing the world's best boy, now with a hat, it's Chubbs! Chubbs! Yay! Yay! Bear claps for Chubbs. He's so cute. He's a good buddy. He's a whacking, whacking tail. He's just a good bull. Does need water. Yeah, that's a good point. He's probably just trying to say, Dad, I'm thirsty. If you could go ahead and hook it up with the watering can, please. Oh, that's a good look. That's a good look for a good boy. Oh, yeah. Man, 10 times better at least. You, you were absolutely right. Down to water. There's a dachshund mod, just saying. Uh-oh. Yeah, that... Uh, that immediately escalates to the ranks of borderline necessary. That might have to be something I hunt down. Hey. Yo. Yo. Should at least let the sprinkler do something for me here, I guess. Honestly, I kind of, I'm beginning to feel like I might just rather have the extra slot crops, but yeah, I mean, we're not really hurting for that, obviously. That's never been the issue. Wow, 
last updated 2021. Does that mean it might not be compatible anymore? Did the mods need to like get updated with the new updates or something like that? All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and repeat our uh, process from last time here. See if I can't get our field snacks whipped up and get back to the mine. Yeah, I, I remember that being a thing, I think, with uh, Spelunky as well, Kavoli, so that would make sense if that were the case. Okay, there we go. I'll keep the axe just so I can chop these guys down real quick. Mm -hmm. Grew up with big dogs, but as I've aged, I find smaller dogs cuter and cuter. I just like all dogs, man. My, uh... My in-laws have a lot of big dogs. My wife's sister uh, had a Great Dane growing up, and then they got a Mastiff later on. They also had a uh, Bernice Mountain Dog. So they get, they, they get the big boys, and they're a lot of fun. I like little dogs, too. Yeah, Chubbs was kind of a medium-sized guy. He was big for a wiener dog, but he's still on the smaller end of just overall dogs. And then Taffy's a little bit smaller than him. and She's a good fit for Elise, too, because she loves to snuggle at night. That's all Elise really wanted. Whoa, what the heck? Woody's secret. Felled trees have a 5% chance to yield double the wood. Cool. You've learned a new power. That's dope. Ah, feeling exhausted again, shit. Hmm. How can I fix my exhaustion issue right now? I do have river jelly. I can eat that. Yeah. Let's just do that real quick. Yum, yum, yum. Sweet. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I might be able to forest forage. I was mostly just trying to find enough of the um, field snack stuff again, which I, I think I might still be able to. Got a maple seed. Let's get ourselves an acorn here. The rate at which I'm losing energy is not making up for. Oh God! <laughs> I gotta remember that's a thing, man. Crap. Some of it'll float, right? You would think, anyway. Oh well. Yeah, I'm even getting through over to here, man. This is a uh, looking great. Snuggling with a big dog is a bit much. GSD puppy just pile drives me when he wants to cuddle. <laughs> oh, silly pups. All right, let me get one more pine cone here. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Sweet. See if that's enough. We might find some cave carrots down there too. This might just have to be a day where I. Wait for the crops to grow. If only you could grow your own food. Yeah, imagine. Hmm. Okay, we do have more fertilizer now, too, actually. Hold on. Give me that. Oh, I guess I better just hang on to that, actually. Yeah, we're not able to do anything much else with it right now. Put that away. Let's see here. Oh, I have a geode, too. I really should. Why do I not sell these things? I should be doing that, yeah. I don't really know what else to do with them right now. Spring seeds. Yeah, that'll work. Oops. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Hey, thank you once. I appreciate that. 
Glad to have you. Oh no, stop that. Stop that bear. Getting back into your habits. Well, I don't know, man. I feel yeah, it's too, it's too late to go to the too late to go to the mines today. Let's see. I might just turn in actually. I don't know if I've done any fishing here yet. I know I tried in that tiny little pond adjacent to the house, but maybe this will yield something. There's a single uncatered crop. Uh-oh. Did you and the rest of the gang ever do another little Bellatro tournament? Seem to recall talks of folks being willing to do more at a later point. I I begged Apollo to make it a league. He does not seem super keen on that, which is fair because, you know, all the organization is on him for that, and I don't want to add that kind of stress into his life if he doesn't want to do it. Um, I might just see if I can throw something together because I was, I was honestly having, like, just as much fun commentating on it as I was participating. So if Apollo doesn't want to put something together, I might just do a little invitation with my own, man. And then maybe he'd just want to commentate on it. That could be fun, too. Because I feel like him and I have a good commentary rapport as well. I might go for that. Because uh, we were just talking about Blacho earlier, too. I'm still very interested in that game, despite the fact that the pile is not super keen on it. But I think the competitive form of that content is a little bit more appealing. And could, could make for... A good middle ground. Apollo would probably have to be a contender in that kind of thing. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think he'd probably be a little more interested in that than commentating. We could do like... We did... Uh, it was eight people total for the Apollo one over two days. I'm trying to figure out... I think it would be best if we just make it a single day thing. Well, no, it doesn't have to be, I guess. We can do another two day. Honestly, I think the format that he had is perfect. Let me just run that back. I don't need to overthink it. We'll do two matches the first day. Find the four finalists, the two top performers from the group of each group of four. And then do a finals day. 4 three hour sessions, yeah, because you got the, the two. Well, I think I'd probably just want to do, um, I guess two hours is probably ideal, right? I think one hour would be too short because you didn't, honestly, you might struggle to get a single run done in an hour. I guess that's why we need a, a slightly longer window for it. So yeah, two two-hour sessions, a.k.a. probably just, like, one four-hour session and then one two-hour session. Give it some thought. That sounds like fun. I wouldn't mind being the, uh, the organizer for a one-off like that. A nominal Once! Raving masses. Thank you. That's very kind. I appreciate the five gifties. Please give them some bear hugs. Welcome into the pile. Clearly not a good idea to fish there after that after that result. Yeah, this is <laughs> a little underwhelming. Good to know though, I guess. Thank you very much for those gifties. Appreciate that. Thank you for the bear hugs for him too. <laughs> Ain't done fishing yet. The commentary helps those of us who are clueless about the nuances of Bellatra. Yeah, I I do tend to assume that people have as clear of an understanding of that game as I do now, which had, is probably a lot to do with the fact that the pile bounced off of it. Yeah, it's 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 well suited for tournament commentary. I, re I really liked that element of the uh, Checkpoint League one-off. I was going to say, yeah, that's another reason why I wanted Apollo to do it. It was just for the Checkpoint League branding. But we can just do a one-off of any sort. Summer Squash. All right. Oh, I suppose this is why the peppers don't sell for as much is because they regrow fairly quickly. So, that's nice. 
This pile member just bought it though, so it's debouncing a bit. There we go. We're bouncing back maybe a little? I'd take that. I'd happily take that. Let's sell half of those, and then we're going to keep a few, and then I'm going to see how much these guys sell for, too. And that'll do it. All right. I definitely want today to be a mining day. So let's get our watering done real quick. And then we're going to head out. You have real life farming or crop harvesting experience? Certainly not like this. We had a little, f uh, not a little farm. We had a little garden um, in our house in Washington Terrace, Utah, back in 2013. Sheesh, yeah, ages ago. We never have one since. Which, come to think of it, in this new house, actually, I'm sure we have a place that we could do that. Detasseling corn and walking beans as a kid. You know what these kinds of terms. This guy farms. Detasseling. <laughs> what does that mean? I have an idea, I have an assumption of what that means, but... Walking beans, too, what is that? There's probably some variations of tournament that could be fun. Maybe highest scoring round by Anti-4 or something. There's, yeah, there's 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 variables that we can mess around with. Like, we were uh, considering, even uh, for the first one, we were thinking about doing seeded runs, which... I'm still not sure. I feel like the, the random seeds are more fun for a tournament, despite, obviously, the RNG that that presents. I feel like watching everybody do the same seed is just kind of boring. I think a lot of the excitement in Bellatro is the RNG of finding jokers. So taking that away, I think, would just be taking away some of the uh, entertainment value. But uh, we can do, like, everybody's got to play a specific deck. Everybody's only able to get to, like, yeah, like, Annie 4, for example. You can see, like, a high score by then. That could be a fun variable. But I do think, uh, at the moment, I think that the, the best format is the one that we were just using. Uh, it's the uh, any deck, highest score. Any deck but Plasma, mind you, because Plasma's OP. Most kids in the Midwest had that as a summer job. You just pull the tassels off the top of the corn stalks and hand weeding soybean rows. Nice. Paid well for kids in the summertime. That's a, that's a cool life experience, too. Oh, you gave my boy. He's so cute with his little hat. Oh, that is excellent. The RNG of suddenly getting three legendary jokers in the audience going, oh wow, yeah. Yeah, no, I think I think that's uh, I think that's something we gotta keep. It's just too fun. Alright, let's hit it. Mine time. Probably don't need the axe, probably don't need the fertilizer. I'll keep the Joja Cola. I'm gonna get rid of this. I keep bringing that, anticipating I might use it in the uh, mines, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do that. Hopefully four peppers is sufficient, although I'm not really sold on that either, actually. We'll see, I guess. Might be able to forage on the way there, too. Yeah, you feel for him for the bad luck runs, too. Yeah, no doubt. It's a great uh, spectator game, man. Like, I, I strongly believe that. Like I, That's what I was, I was so adamant with Apollo about the league, because I really feel like it's got a ton of potential as a spectator game. How you doing, bud? Make sure to water your plants every day. Thanks, Demetrius. Here's your drink water, friend. Speaking of which, hydrate. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. You know those times where you realize it's been a minute since you had some water and then your body's like, Oh, right, yes, please give me all of that. We do need that to live. Right, no, 
down we go. Thought I left my pickaxe for a second. There we go. All right, the shadow dagger now. Different combat approach. I'm beginning to think I might have preferred the big hammer thing too, which I think I still have. Because yeah, I've been taking way more damage with this guy. Especially because the slimes seem to sit just outside of your dagger reach usually, so... Yeah, I don't want to swap back. Oh, I didn't bring it, did I? Yeah, never mind. Okay. Well, so much for that, I guess. Doesn't look like we need to kill any uh, specific enemies here either, so we can just we can go ahead and get as deep as we can here. I use that super stab more often, too. No reason not to, really. Might as well take advantage. My bear, my bear plush just fell down from the top shelf and almost landed on a cup of water. We are connected via a soul link. So, yeah, I assume he just uh, felt the urge to hydrate. Okay. I haven't really been feeling the need to get a bunch of iron lately. I think we got to... Uh, Plenty of that in the previous go. Definitely need to heal, though. Sheesh. Taking a beating, man. Yeah, I clearly preferred that uh, other weapon. Also, apparently these peppers are not gonna do it. Hey, Lecter, welcome. Okay. I also think I can appreciate the Slay the Spire, reach the boss first before you can reroll game mechanic. I watched some Bellatro runs, but I don't know if the game needs that. Yeah, I think we're alright without that. I think I'm alright with people just going for it. I mean, that, that's another great thing about Bellatro is the fact that uh, the, it's, it's very uncommon for me to feel as though a run is doomed early on. Like, the game is designed uh, to where you you feel almost always like you can make a run work regardless of what you have going on because there's just so many different ways for a run to work which again contributes to its value as a spectator sport because there's always a way you can bring it back We need, like, a database, don't we, Pawn of the Pawn's Poles, so we can get the official pile opinions on everything. We have a catalog. You do try to post them in the disc, in the disc I've seen that, yeah. A little bit of a backlog there already. Ooh, there's another bomb. I want to try the bomb out. I feel like that'll be fun. I like want to use it somewhere. It's actually going to be effective, though. I might be in trouble with this, dude. I'm in low HP right now. I feel like I need that other weapon badly. Man, this song is nice. I don't think I've heard this song yet. It's really pleasant. He's holding the bomb like that old Batman TV show. <laughs> it is a very cartoon bomb, isn't it? Cool, only 132 pages of search results for me in the disk key. <laughs> there you go. You'll get there, right? Join the Discord, by the way. If you haven't already. Exclamation point Discord. Join the pile. We're all very, very nice people. Welcome you with open bear hugs. <laughs> I'm only realizing now it's like very rare that you actually get anything out of these. Or not guaranteed anyway. God, I'm getting really low. Yeah, a lot of them are just in the 
away. Looks like we're probably just gonna shoot for 70 this time, I guess. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I need to bring the other weapon next time down here. This thing is just not it. It's too risky. Oh my god. You're really good at, like, predicting your movement, too. It's crazy. Hardcore mining in Stardew Valley. Trying to preserve my energy here, too. Ah, oh, darn. That was cool. Gimme, gimme. I guess if you just keep stabbing, it works pretty well, doesn't it? Just never not be stabbing. side for this. No cave carrots, huh? That's a bummer. Right after you started playing Stardew, I got back into it myself. Still can't believe one guy made this. It is still crazy. Yeah. A hundred percent. That will never not be absurd to me. Yeah, Toby Fox levels of impressive. Honestly, more so. Like, Toby Fox is probably looking at Concerned Ape as the goat for this. Oh, cool. Master Slingshot. There we go, dude. Yeah, the first one was pretty underwhelming. Hopefully that thing's actually worthwhile. Let's find out. I'll give it a go for a level. Oh, yeah, no, it's not a competition. You know, just kind of... Attribute too much significance to that. I'm just saying they're both pretty goddamn impressive. Nice skeleton. See how you feel about a master slingshot. 14 damage. Ooh. Ooh. That's actually pretty good. 22. This is fun, too. I like this. Third-person shooter. Oh, he's got the range move. Okay, he's just waiting on it. That's fun. Yep. I really like that you can do it at any angle, too. That's cool. All right, he can take a beating, though. Okay, you can't rapid-fire those. I was wondering if you have to... Yeah, you gotta wait for the full draw every time. Uh oh Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Where's my other weapon? I lost my other weapon. Crap, hold on. Mirror, 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 mirror. Oh, yeah. Go away. Yeah, these guys aren't so bad to deal with the dagger, I guess. Oh, frozen tear. Nice. We have a limited supply of stones, too. Um, it is 11 o'clock. I should probably go ahead and get out of here. We'll save this for next time. Never use the slingshot. It's cool to see. I, I very quickly uh, bounced off the first slingshot just because the damage was extremely underwhelming, but this seems like it might actually be pretty useful. we got plenty of stones to bring along. Of course, we're going to get more and more of those as we go. That was floor 70, I think. So we're into a whole new section there. So I'm wondering if actually we'll be able to uh, find some new ore down there too. That'd be cool. It's getting late, I know, I know. Pierre wants a carp. Sure. 90 ain't a lot, but... Might as well try. Can you use the bones from the skellies in the slingshot? Good question. Nah, that'd be cool, though. Yeah, it looks like it only takes stones. That'd be interesting. I wonder what that sells for. Let's find out. Also, I'm curious how much I can sell a bomb for. And the bat wings. Okay. Ooh, gold! Fun! 
Okay, okay. That's the new resource, then. Not enough to smelt yet. Got some gold to smelt, or some coal, rather, for smelting as well. Let's see. Get you in there. And then we'll put away that little bit of ore. Get the iron ore going again. And I think I'm going to sell these fragments. Put this away and we're good to go. Cool. Time for a bear pull. Best bear other than bear bear. Right, yeah, no, this is this is important data. Ooh, I mean, yeah, it's gotta be grizzly, right? I gotta go grizzly, I gotta go grizzly. I think that's what I voted last time, too. I'm pretty sure that's what I went with. All right, time for bed. <laughs> Sleeping in his little cap is so cute. Oh, wow. Dude. I'm going to sell those bat wings more often. I've been dumping those. Bone fragment worth a decent amount. Got some good money from the jade. Cool. <laughs> I find it amazing there used to be a gold rush and people just panned river water for nuggets. If you were alive during the California gold rush, do you think you and or your family, assuming that you lived a reasonable distance away from California, you think you would have gone? I'm pretty sure I would have done it. I feel like I'm the kind of person that would have just put all my marbles into that fiasco. Tomorrow, we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 and 2. People still pan for golden rivers in Montana for funsies. That just sounds like a, a fun hobby, though, you know? Not quite like, let's uproot our entire family and go stake everything on the possibility that we find some gold flakes in the river. Oh, hold on, bud. I get your water can. Would have called y'all crazy, so that's fair. I am. You're not wrong. I would have died of dysentery. Same. Yeah, no, that's... That's a fair assumption. <coughs> Goodness, pardon me. Oh, these are radishes? Not quite done yet, apparently. Okay. Those are big suckers, though. People pan for actual gold nuggets. I always thought it was just to see if there were gold flakes in the river sands. So they know if they needed to follow the river upstream and find where to mine. That sounds right. I don't know. My my interpretation of it has always been what I've been presented visually, which is like people with the uh, little shaky things and they're just trying to find like gold specks in the in the dirt and in, in, in the water or whatever it is. That could very well be the case, that, that that was just meant to lead you to where the actual sources are. This is the most I've thought, I've thought about the California Gold Rush in probably 20 years. I actually found some gold at the, after the Oroville Dam fiasco a few years ago. Really? That's interesting. So it's, it's ongoing is what you're saying. <laughs> the, the, the continuous... California Gold Rush. You had a fifth grade school trip from to, uh, to Sacramento where you actually panned for gold for fun. That's neat. Load up the bus, kids. We're heading to Sacramento. Home of childhood fun. Gold nuggets are very rare, but do occur. People pan for flakes and they're happy they get a nugget. Because the flakes themselves are actually, they have some value too, right? Especially back then. 
lived in Sacramento most of my life. We did gold panning several years for field trips. It was dumb, as dumb and boring as it sounds. Yeah, I mean, like the the near guarantee that y'all aren't actually gonna find anything probably does soil the experience a little bit, right? I wonder if any kid has actually found anything valuable on those trips. I feel like they wouldn't let them do it if there was even the remote chance that there was <laughs> some value to be gained from it. Okay, back to the mines, I think. We did just use all of... God damn, it uses all of my energy to water the crops. Holy shit. That's not good. Um, I mean, I guess that means we got a lot of crops, but... Yeah, it's not very sustainable, is it? Hold on a sec. I gotta figure out a new system here, I think. We gotta... Oh, yeah, there's a pepper I can eat. That's not gonna be much, though. Yeah, maybe just do a little foraging here. I could just go do some fishing real quick, because I have this soda, and then maybe we could find enough fish to be able to make it through the trip. Oh, I started today with half energy again? Ah, crap, I didn't realize. I think that's only a multiplayer thing, Dingy. We were trying that uh, earlier on in the playthrough, and it wasn't working. Oh, I'll put my axe away to your right, crap. Hang on, let me reorganize real fast. Just wake up with more energy, Barry? You'd think, yeah, I mean, farming, for God's sake. You'd think I'd be conditioning myself at this point. Um, still got some maple seeds. Do I really want to try for the snack bars again? I think I just want to forage. Hope for the best. Yeah, let's just do that. Pop these guys for now. Have you been up to the spa yet, Bear? There's a spa? What the hell? No? That sounds nice. Yeah, I feel like there's a couple areas I haven't even really explored yet. I don't think this works yet. I think the bus doesn't work yet either. Yeah, out of order. You should have unlocked it now. It's after summer three. Okay. Where would that be? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Up north of the carpenter shop. Yeah, let's go check that out. Hi there. Do you have everything you need for the farm? If not, we might be able to help you out. We carry a variety of useful items. Do you work at Pierre's and I just never talked to you before? It's the first time I've seen that lady. Oh yeah, that's true too, isn't it? She's <laughs> trying to get me to go in on one day they're closed all week. That's his wife, okay, cool. Ooh, grape, nice. Yum yum. And then over here, I'm guessing? Nah, uh, that doesn't look right. Yeah, I think that takes us down to our farm, doesn't it? Oh, I guess I can get this way from the farm, though. That's good to know. Oh, here it is. I didn't even see the staircase, dude. It's blending in. Yo, holy shit. He's been here the whole time? This is cool. I'm gonna shower up. Trying to shower with your clothes on? I guess so. I gotta get changed or something? You're too weak to lift it. Oh no, it's like a five pounder, dude. Time to get swole. Or not. Oh, cool. Love it. Oh, is it possibly an energy restoration? 
That'd be cool. Maybe we're just chilling. Ah, here we go. Oh, yeah. This is a bear cult. As we just absorb the, the life essence of the spa. There we go. That's nice. Cool. That's pretty quick, too. A couple hours up to the spa, we're good to go. Restores health, too, if you're missing that. Nice. Bathe in the Mako. Yeah, there we go. You playing Rebirth? I'm loving it, man. I'm honestly shocked how much I'm enjoying the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I've been super into that lately. Mostly shocked because I played the original remake uh, and didn't really like it very much. But they they took it to a whole nother level with this one, dude. The combat alone is phenomenal. So fun. Too broke right now. Yeah, that was $70 games, man. Few and far between for me these days, too, for sure. That's a... That's a steep ask. It's been worth it, though. I've been having a great time. Yeah, I think the last uh, full-price AAA release I bought was probably, like, the new God of War. And then I didn't even end up playing that, so, yeah, it's making me even more hesitant to buy into those. All right, we didn't bring any food, but I have full energy, so hopefully that'll be enough for now. They're doing another new RimWorld expansion task? Oh my god, I could have sworn they just did royalty. That feels like it was like two years ago. Which I guess is a big enough window to release another expansion, isn't it? Well, this is fun. Let's make a little choke point for him. Doing the job. These guys are very tanky, though. I might just be a lot better off with the dagger on these guys, actually. Hold on. Yeah, they might be the ideal target for this. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Let's do that. Oh, the new one's horror-themed. Really cool. Darkest Rim World, yeah. That'll be neat. That game definitely feels like it is fit for a horror theme expansion. Yeah, that seems like a great idea. Get him. Get him. The dagger stabs do take a little energy, right? Although I think it's very, very little at least. That did not, though. Maybe they don't. I saw you can get raided by flesh abominations. Oh my god. That sounds incredible. <laughs> That's kind of making me want to go back to RimWorld, man. I did have a pretty frustrating time going back to that last time, though. It's a That game is like the the learning curve is it's it's a straight line up. But then once you learn everything, you plateau and you're you're solid. And unless you're like me and you forget half of the mechanics as you're going, but yeah, it's very satisfying once you uh, get past the uh, initial obstacle of figuring out how the hell the game works. Oh, dwarf fortress, God, yeah, that's that's like RimWorld times a hundred as far as. Uh, difficulty and accessibility. Yeah, I've still yet to even make any real significant progress with that, despite very much wanting to, because I know if I did, I would love it, but as a tall order. Yeah, it was Josh, it was Mathis. I, uh, I feel bad, too, because I, I, I expressed sincere and, you know, like, uh, valid enthusiasm about it. It's just like, I, I also don't have the 
the energy or the motivation to actually sit down and really try to figure it out. Oh, this guy's new. Oh, never mind. After the Steam release, Dwarf Fortress is about RimWorld levels. Levels takes off a lot of the micro. That's good to hear. That's reassuring. I do have a lot of other stuff that we want to get into at the moment, but that's that's always a possibility. That's that's one of those like Noida or Dead Cells or like obviously like Spelunky too. That's just one of those games that I think I could probably go back to at any point and probably have a good time starting a new campaign on. It's like DD, if you don't have some form of cheese strategy or mod, you have to accept pain. RimWorld is punishing, yeah. I think I had a lot of help from the uh, from the pile, if I recall correctly, and it's just as far as like learning how to deal with certain things, but yeah, that game wants you dead. Ding. He's Hi, YouTube. Sorry about that. Uh, abrupt uh, cut, most likely, in the VOD here, but uh, sadly, the power just went out on us here on the stream. Uh, but we were going to wrap up the end of that day, which, unfortunately, we have lost the entire day's worth of progress, but that's just going to be, be an easy fix for next time. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll come on back with Stardew Valley uh, more than likely uh, after some Slice and Dice tomorrow. I think I want to make it a nice long stream here on Twitch for Thursday. So we'll do some DD1 right into some slice and dice and then a little bit of stardew to wrap things up and we'll get this progress back that we lost today so sounds good sounds good thanks for watching everybody appreciate the support over on youtube as well please leave a like on the bod you've been enjoying the stardew valley playthrough looking forward to more of this thanks for the support i'll see you next time